Welcome back to the channel. Today, got another banger. We got the NFC North record predictions. Should be exciting. So a fairly, um, fairly tight conference. Um, or sorry, fairly tight division. Um, yeah, I got nothing else to say. Let's get right into it. Okay, so starting it off with the Chicago Bears. Um, it's very interesting. They're a very interesting team. Um, a lot of potential. Uh, we all know they have that insane defense, but um, I have them going anywhere from two and fourteen to twelve and four. With um, my actual, what I think they'll get is five and eleven. Um, some games to look out for is their opener September thirteenth at Detroit, um, and then they have. A tough slate of a tough slate of games uh, from Atlanta to um, to Minnesota, where they go um, three and five, which um, could go four and four, could go five and three, could go six and two. I I don't know. Um, and then following that, they have their bye week, um, but I don't see any. They played Detroit again and Jacksonville. That's the only ones they they will get after their bye week, as they play Houston, Minnesota, Green Bay. Overall, not good for um, Chicago, but um, it has the potential to go very well. The second team in the NFC North is the Detroit Lions, who I think have a similar ceiling to that of the Bears, but they also have a slightly better floor and. And in all, I have them going seven and nine. Um, I have them beating the Bears week one, which very interesting, uh, very interesting game to watch. Then a three-game losing streak, three-game winning streak. Then uh, one. Then they lose to Minnesota November eighth. Then they basically go five hundred um, up until Tennessee. But they lose to Tampa Bay and um, Minnesota. So seven and nine, much better than probably some people have the lines going. But um, I they're not a bad team at all. They're um, I'd say they're about even with that of um, Atlanta, a little step below Indianapolis. So it should be a very solid season. Uh, Matthew Stafford, I think, is going to have a very good year. So uh, I'm excited to watch. I hear you need a spokesperson. Yeah, who are you? Your new spokesperson and championship athlete, Derek Rush. Who? You never heard of me? No, I haven't. Look how important I am. Do you see all these medals? Yes, I do. Uh, what are they from? N n never mind that. I heard you had a nice fantasy football website. That's true. Yeah, I have um, rankings and sleepers, even analysis of many players. Also, throughout the year, I will update a waiver wire of players you need to pick up along with players that are poised to just break out. Sick, that must cost a lot of money to get all of that. Actually, it's free. Just head to xtrain22x.wixsite.com slash t-o-t-h fantasy football. That's the website. There will also be a link in the description down below. You got that? Nice. Now, uh, where, where's my money? I mean money? How am I supposed to get paid for this? I don't know. I don't even get paid. Well, you're a no-name YouTuber. I'm championship athlete Derek Rush. You are. Now, get out. So, basically, I have a fantasy football website. I have rankings. Sleepers will be up by the time you see this. Um, and then, throughout the season, I'll have a waiver wire where I'll just tell you um, tell you who to pick up and I'll have a have an area where um, where you can see like players that I think are gonna break out either if it's for a week or for a couple weeks so that's what that was now on to the Packers so the Green Bay Packers out of all the teams in the NFC North I think have the highest floor um, I think the absolute worst they can do is eight and eight but then the absolute best they can do is 15 and 1. But in the end, I'll have them going 11 and 5, almost pretty much right in between. 
But um, yeah, so an interesting game would be uh, opening week versus Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota, I'll talk about it in a couple seconds. Yannick Ngakwe um, will help with the defense. Um, and then they start off 500 throughout the first, I don't know, five, six weeks. Um, but then after that, they go, they start to win more. Um, shocker, I know. Uh, they play Houston and Minnesota, um, get two wins. I'll have them lose to San Francisco. It'll be a very fun game to watch. That's probably one of the most important ones to watch on a Green Bay schedule. Uh, same with the Tampa Bay game on October 18th. But I have them losing both games. Um, but yeah, it should be a very interesting season. Anywhere from eight and eight to fifteen and one, I could see the um, I could see the Packers going. Okay, so the Minnesota Vikings. I have winning the division. As they go twelve and four, I have them starting off five and six, um, five and six, with their one loss being to Seattle in week five. Um, then they go into the bye week, play Green Bay, have them lose that, but then after that, I have them winning five straight games. I think yeah, yeah, five straight games. Uh, then losing to Tampa Bay beating Chicago, losing to New Orleans, and beating Detroit. Um, the Tampa Bay game is one to watch. That's well, That one and New Orleans, Seattle, and Green Bay, all, those four games um, that, they, that I have them losing will all be amazing games to watch. Um, even like the Green Bay Week 1 game, um, that should be amazing. The Dallas game week, um, well, don't know the week, but November 22nd, that Dallas game will be fun. And uh, the Chicago, Chicago games, Chicago and Detroit games, keep an eye on them. I don't think Detroit will probably be a closer game. Um, the one, the Week 17 one at Detroit, that'll be the closest of the of the two. But um, but yeah, so I have them winning the division, going 12 and four. The w worst they can do is five and 11. I know that's a huge gap. Um, 12 and four to five and 11, but um, they. There's just so many. They have a tough schedule. Um, well, they have a schedule that I think might get overlooked, including by me. Um, and have they could? I have them starting off a four-game win streak. They could easily lose their first six. Um, so I don't know. But four, five, and eleven. That's the worst. I have them going. The best they can do is fourteen and two. Um, but yeah, I have them going twelve and four and winning their division. Thank you all so much for watching. As I mentioned earlier, and whoever Derek Rush is, whatever he said, uh, I have a website. Uh, there's a link in the description for it. Go check it out. Um, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe. Yell at me in the comments how wrong I am or how right I am. Um, and adios.